Who wants to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Huh? You want to go for a walk? Yeah? Think about it. Just think about it for a second. Yeah, it's good, Bowie. You're overly sleepy. You're too sleepy. What? You're too sleepy. Go for a walk? He's like, no, nah, dog. I'm good right here. You're so, <laughs> you're so lazy. <laughs> oh, here comes Ruby. I know. You can't go for a walk, though. Okay, sit. Sit. Thank you. Stay. All right, cool. Ready? You guys ready? All right, bro. Welcome to the great outdoors. You guys should feel right at home. Ooh, it is cool out today. Dang, that's some cool weather. <laughs> you guys are cute. Every time I come outside and film with this camera, I feel like I have a lot of glare issues. And in case you're wondering, this is the G7X Mark II. What's in the bushes, dude? What's in the bushes? What is that? Whoa! Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're outside having a walk. The weather is just insanely amazing in Florida and it has been for several days now. It's just super cool. The best kind of living for a Siberian Husky is to have sunny weather, but also cool weather at the same time. That way we can go for walks, have a whole bunch of fun, but stay cool. So while we're on today's walk, we're gonna be talking about the infamous Husky Puppy Scam. Now this is a scam that people very often and very commonly fall for, especially people who are vulnerable, who want a Siberian Husky, don't really know the proper ways of going about getting one. People have lost up to over a thousand dollars on this scam. So if you are interested in getting a Siberian Husky, you want to buy one or you want to adopt one, but you don't want to get scammed or lose your money, watch this video. Now I just want to stress that this is not exclusive to Siberian Huskies. This scam covers about every single dog breed, especially the popular ones. So Siberian Huskies, German Shepherds, Samoyeds, all those types of dog breeds, the really expensive ones, the purebreds, those are the dogs that this affects the most. So since Siberian Huskies are a popular breed and they do get bought up a lot on the internet, this scam affects a lot of Husky owners. Oh my, it looks we've hit the end of the road here. There's no LA have to go. No, you can't go that way. That's the highway. You'll get hit. Come on, let's go this way. Come on. All right, back on the road, back on the track of where we came from. So there's a few ways that this scam goes down and there's a bunch of different ways that you can protect yourself from losing money. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that and explain to you exactly how the scam goes down and how you can be smarter about detecting the scam when you come across it. All right, so a lot of people wonder where you get a Siberian Husky in the first place. Like, where do you shop around for one of these snow dogs? A lot of people use basically Google or Facebook to find a brand new puppy, especially if you're not adopting. But even if you are adopting, Google and Facebook is a great place to look because there's a lot of legit reputable breeders on those websites. Now, of course, with every legit source of information, there's a litany of bad information. So Google and Facebook will sometimes steer you in the direction of really shady characters. <laughs> you almost got it! Let's go! Run! Oh no! Ugh. You guys are so lucky. I just barely missed that and I was able to run over that. I like had to jump at the very last moment. I was about to run into a giant puddle of water. All right, so one of the first things and one of the most common things that breeders do whenever they're selling a puppy, especially a Siberian Husky puppy, is they ask for a down payment. Since Siberian Huskies and purebreds are extremely popular, people will pick them out before they even become of age to go home. So because of this, you have a lot of breeders who are like, hey, if you want this Husky puppy, you got to give me X amount of dollars down payment to hold the dog. Then you get to have the puppy once it's eight or ten weeks old. So there's a problem here. The breeder is going to get uh, X amount of your money before you get anything. This can be extremely risky because you're basically giving a stranger money without them giving you anything in return. So how do you know that you're going to get your dog and they're not going to just keep their money? And because this loophole exists, so many people take advantage of 
of this situation. They're like, oh dude, I could just pretend that I got a Siberian Husky, tell someone I'm gonna give them that puppy in a few weeks, and totally walk away with a few hundred dollars. Now the biggest problem with this is that even the reputable breeders will ask you for a down payment. This isn't something that's like a sign that you are in the middle of a scam. So this is why it becomes really difficult for people to notice whether or not they're in the middle of someone stealing money from them or if they're just legitimately working with a breeder who actually needs a down payment. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would a legit breeder need a down payment for a husky or a puppy? Yeah, boy, get it. Well, the main reason is because before you go to pick up your Siberian Husky at 10 or eight weeks, the breeder is going to have to pay for all of their food, pay for their medical costs. Husky puppies, before you go to pick them up, they're gonna get shots from the vet and the breeder's gonna have to pay for that. So not only is it reassuring the breeder that you are a serious buyer, but it also helps the breeder pay for all of those costs to take care of your puppy before you bring them home. All right, come on, come on. Let's go. I think Homeless Joe lives over there. So what do you do if you're trying to buy a Siberian Husky? It can be confusing. Who can you trust when both parties are asking for a down payment? Let's start off with the list to tell you how to differentiate the two so you know which one's a scam and which one isn't. Now when it comes to breeders who are trying to scam you, typically they won't let you come to their house, view the breeding grounds. They typically only have a couple photographs of the Husky or the dog. If you ask them on cue like, hey, can you take a picture of the puppy right now? Can I see the puppy records? If they delay that process, if they're like, yo, I, I can't get you that until uh, this time or yada, 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 that's probably suspect that you're in the middle of a scam. Most legit breeders will not only let you come visit the house where the breeding occurs, meet the mom and dad dog, and visit the little huskies before you take them home, but they'll provide you with photographs and information on the pet ASAP. They wanna make the sale. They're looking to make that money. So it's really important for breeders to give you that information and keep you in line to purchase your Siberian Husky. Remember, legit breeders love dogs. That's part of the reason why they breed their dog. They don't want their dogs going to crazy people. So breeders want people who are buying their dogs to be informed and more times than not, they're happy when the buyer is asking questions. So stay away from breeders who are like, hey, I can't give you that information. I can't provide you with photos. The least amount of information you get, the more likely it's a scam. Ooh, coming up to the fire hydrant. Are we gonna say hi today? Dang, that's twice in a row now that you got you got ignored, bro. I'm sorry. Another good thing to make sure to do is have good communication with your breeder. You wanna make sure that you get their phone number, get their email, and keep in close contact with them. You are doing a business transaction with your breeder, but you do wanna create a lasting relationship with them in case you have any questions, in case you have concerns, they're able to deliver the information to you on a timely manner. What's in there? What is that? What'd you find, dude? Something tasty? <laughs> What'd you find, dude? What are you doing? You find some beetroot? What did you find? Is there a mole in there? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna catch the dirt. So some of the websites that have the most amount of fraud when it comes to selling puppies, especially Siberian Husky puppies, is like Puppy Finder, Craigslist definitely. I'm not saying that you can't find an amazing Husky puppy on Craigslist or Puppy Finder, but I'm just saying, those are websites that are often filled with the types of scams that we're talking about in this video. Now obviously, you don't wanna give someone the full price for a Husky. Say someone says, hey, I want like $1,100 out the gate before you even get the puppy. Most breeders will only ask for about $200 to $300 up front. Something really small like that. Never pay full price before you get your Siberian Husky puppy. Some really good places to find a Husky puppy are actually like Facebook. Facebook has a lot of breeders that do business through the social media website and they actually have a review column so you can see if the breeder has good reviews and typically if a breeder has tons of reviews of people saying you know hey I got a puppy from these people they were amazing they did a great job kept me informed that's a good way to know hey 
this is probably the breeder I want to go with. If you find a Facebook page of someone who's like, hey, I got no reviews, I've got one friend, and I'm selling three dogs, yeah, probably stay away from that, you know what I mean? If you don't believe that scams happen, go in the comment section of my videos and read about how many people actually experience these types of scams. I have viewers that lose hundreds of dollars because they're excited to get a Husky and someone just takes their money because they didn't do enough research. It's a real thing and it really happens and I don't want my viewers to get any money stolen from them, especially during these times where a lot of people are feeling some financial hardships. Be proactive and do your research. If you want to get a Siberian Husky puppy or any puppy for that matter, it could be any breed, make sure you research and create a relationship with the person you plan on buying your dog from. I know sometimes it can be hard. Part of doing this is going to be taking a risk, but you can mitigate that chance by following the steps I told you in this video, doing research, and making sure that you do that research on the right websites and social media platforms. We had a blast hanging out with you guys today. This was a crazy long walk, and we're glad that we informed you all about the insane scams that happen when it comes to trying to get yourself a Siberian Husky puppy. If you're looking to get yourself a Husky puppy we hope that you follow all of the guidelines that we shared with you in this video and use the tips and tricks to avoid the scams that people commonly fall for whenever they're trying to get a best friend if you had fun today on this crazy walk go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more Huskaroni pizza episodes and you stay informed with all of the husky goodness that we have to offer and until next time we'll see you with another episode of guess what yep you guessed it two husky booties Scooby da ba 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 